Good morning. And thank you, Father God, for allowing us this great morning, this great morning to humble ourselves, to come to you in prayer, Father God, to seek you, to seek your face, Lord. Lord, we come to you humbly as we know how, asking you, Father God, to come to us and heal our land, Father God. Lord, we know you. We know you and we are your children. And you tell us in uh, Chronicles 7, 14, if my people, you're talking about us, Father God, the Christians, Father God, if we would humble ourselves, Father God, Father, help us all not to be puffed up. Help us all not to uh, think that we got it all, Father God, because we know nothing, Father God. You know the plans you have for us, Father God. Father, we're to be about your work, and we're to do your work humbly as we know how. Father God, James 4 and 10 tells us to humble ourselves, Father God, uh, so that you can lift us up, Father God. Help us to remember your word, Father God. Then you ask us, Lord, to pray. Father, as we go about our day, we want to pray always. We want to pray in and out of season. We want to pray for the things that you want us to pray for, Father God. We want to pray with a sincere heart, Lord. Lord, we come to you this morning with that sincere heart, asking you to help us, Father God. Help us to continue to lift one another up, Father God. Not to look down, Father God, or to challenge no one, but to just sincerely out of our heart and out of love for you, Father God, pray for those who need prayer, Father God. There are so many much, much worse off than us, Father God. We have a headache and we will cry to you, but won't cry to that person, Father God, whose body is racked with pain. Father God, we want to pray for those that are on Facebook and those that are on YouTube and those that are on any type of social media, Father God. As they view this, Father God, we pray that they would come to you, Father God, and that their prayer requests would be heard, Father God, even if they never, ever utter it, Lord. Lord, we thank you. We thank you that we can pray for our government, Father God. Our government is fighting with one another, Father God, fighting reaching across the worlds, Father God. Father, you are a God of peace. You are a God of love. Speak to the leaders, Father God, that they may know what to do and what to say, that they may do your will, Lord, and if any of the leaders are not saved, Father God, I pray that you would send someone their way, that they may become saved, Father, that their salvation rest in you, Lord, and that they pick that salvation up, that they handle that salvation, Father God, prayerfully. We come right now, Father God, asking for a uh, uh, prayer for all of those who are going through anything. We have to, God, because you are our hope in everything. So, Father God, we come to you this morning just thanking you. We pray for our city, Lord. Oh, God, have mercy. Have mercy on the city of Chicago, the state of Illinois. Have mercy, Father God. We have become such a violent place. We have come, become such an immoral place, Father God. Father, we have become afraid of those who uh, choose to not follow your word, Father God. Help us to speak up and say, thus said the Lord, this is his word. Help us to teach those who don't know any better, Father God. Help us to teach the young men and the young women, Lord. Help us, Father God, to bring order back into your world, Father God. This is your world. This is not our world. Then you tell us, Father God, that we need to seek your face. And God, we seek your face because we want to know you. We seek your face, Father God. We seek your face in hope 
that you have given us, Father God. If we stand on that hope, Father God, we'll be all right. And we thank you that you would give us your name, Father God, Christian, that we could stand in hope for you, Father God. We seek your face because we want to be intimate with you, God. And those are things that you want because you love us so much. And we thank you for it, God. We thank you for it, God. Father God, you said in your word, look to the Lord and his strength. And we we'll have courage, God. We go to man asking their advice. And we look at you in last place. But you've told us in your word, you told us to seek ye first the kingdom. So, Father God, we come this morning seeking you first. We come this morning asking for your grace and your mercy. We come this morning seeking you first, asking that you hide your word in our hearts, Father God, that we may not sin against you. Father God, we come seeking you first. We pray that every person on social media is seeking you first. We pray that every person that couldn't make it on this line is seeking you first. We pray, Father God, that our souls would just rise up in the love that you have for us, Father God. Father, we thank you and we praise you. You said for us to turn from our wicked ways. We're Christians. We're Christians, God. How do we have wicked ways? Sometimes our hearts are not right. Sometimes, Father God, we desire what we desire and we fall into the lust of the flesh. That's a wicked way. Then we fall into the lust of the eyes, Father God. That's the wicked way. Then we fall into the pride of life. That's being puffed up and not humbling ourselves. And we, we don't want that, Father God. We want a closer relationship with you. And only you can provide it, God. Only you can do it, Father God. Father, so help us. Show us, Father God. And as you show us our wicked ways, Father God, I pray that every person would turn from that way that every person will say, Father, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know that I did that. Father God, forgive me for all my sins. Forgive us, Father God, only as you can. Now, Father God, there are some personal requests in this prayer chat. And Father God, we ask for strength and courage for all those who feel weak. Father, your word we were taught yesterday if we be weak, we'll become strong. And I know it sounds kind of backwards, but God, I understand what you want us to do. You simply want us to depend on you. So for those who need strength and courage, Father God, open their hearts, their eyes, and their mind that they will depend strictly on you. Then, Father God, those in bereavement, the Hordes family, and, and that of family and friends of uh, Laurel. Father God, bereavement, we're supposed to rejoice at the home going and be saddened by the birth. But Father God, we do it kind of back. We rejoice at the birth and we are saddened at the home going. And that's simply because of our love and our attachment to those individuals. But God, you are a comforter. You've sent your Holy Spirit to comfort us when we have to go through not just bereavement, but the, the, the branches of life. You've sent your Holy Spirit, Father God. If we open our ears and pay attention, you'll tell us through the Holy Spirit what it is you would have us to do. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you and we praise you because you don't have to. You don't have to, Father God. Father God, we come to you uh, asking you to heal, Father God, every person 
and every person that may hear this prayer that is filled with sickness and disease, you've told us in your word, you will not only heal us, you will cure us. Father God, so we lean on you. We pray, Father God, that those who need healing, those who are going to the doctor, Father God, we pray that the doctor's report is a mystery to them because what they've seen before is no longer there. We pray right now, Father God, against COVID, Father God, all those individuals who are uh, uh, contact, contact, contacting COVID now, Father God, fill our land of COVID, Father God. We have no other way for a healing against this disease. So, Father God, we're asking you, we're asking you humbly as we know how to heal the land of COVID, Father God. Oh God, my Savior, you healed many of cancer. You've healed many of plagues before. And we know that you can heal them now, Father God. Plagues are not new to you. Plagues are new to us. But Father, even though they're new to us, we still stand on your word. We connect hand to hand, wire to wire, face to face, Father God, to stand on your word that you will heal the land of these plagues, Father God. Then, Father God, uh, those who are, are still looking for housing, Father God, I pray that you would give them that housing, Father God. I mean, after all, you know what it's like, Jesus, to be homeless. You were once homeless. You lived in a stable. So, Father God, I ask that you reach out and you touch those who are in need of a place to live, to have a roof over their head. You are our provider. So I'm asking you, Jehovah, to provide only as you can. Father God, touch those who can't uh, do for themselves, who are mentally challenged, and even those who are traumatized by life's mishaps, Father God. They're nothing new to you, but they're new to the individuals. So Father God, continue to rock them in the crater of your arms, Father. Hold them close to your breast. Heal their pain, Lord, in every way. Not just the physical pain, but the mental pain, the emotional pain. Those just suffering, Father God, in someone else's hand. Now, Father God, we come joyfully as we know how. We open our mics to praise you, to say hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We open our mics to speak to you, God. Thank you, Father. To pour back to you, God. To lift you up. To glorify you. To say hallelujah. Say we praise you. Say we praise you. Offer you the glory that you so desire. Thank you. Fill our land, Lord. Only as you can. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise you. 